Hey Aries, welcome guys. I hope your day is going great so far. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today, especially after the Rebel Reads yesterday. They were a little bit rough, guys. I even did one for myself at the end of the day, so I was not immune uh, to their tactless words of wisdom, but definitely do find uh, value in that level of honesty. Uh, but today, I felt the word softer softer came into my mind it would not leave me so we need to have a softer read today i also have these manifestation oracle cards uh, so it occurred to me everybody has dreams everybody has goals just like i do and i should probably use these tarot cards uh, to help you guys to get to where you want to be in life so what we're going to do today is we're going to let uh, the powers that be we'll let the universe we'll let spirit we'll let it, that higher power pick some of these cards for you uh, and give you a little bit of that insight into how to get to where you want to be in life. Uh, something that will help you on your journey here. Let's see what we have. So we have, interesting, we have Go Wild. So this card is definitely speaking of empowerment, of taking back control and going for whatever it is that you want, whatever this goal is, not allowing anything to hold you back and moving forward. I also have Be Proud of Yourself. Interesting. Oh, this is going to be about you. This is going to be about empowerment today. Uh, this is going to be about recognizing the beautiful qualities that you have, your talents and your capabilities, truly believing in them, celebrating them, and then moving through life like that. I also have Clear Your Mind. So this is clearing your mind of negativity, clearing your mind of anything that's going to hold you back, any of that worry, uh, that BS that we tell ourselves. It's just clutter that will get in the way. They also have take a breather. This is looking after yourself, taking time for yourself, doing things that help you to decompress and be happy and find that joy. This is also tied into that go wild card and uh, doing something that's absolutely wonderful for you. I do have to see the bigger picture too. Interesting. And this card is about planning. It's also about seeing how everything is interconnected. And this ties in, I get the word attitude. Right after I said that, I saw the word attitude. Your attitude is interconnected and in how all of this works in getting to where you want to be in life. So that being proud of yourself, that go wild, that true belief in yourself and moving through the life like that, that is going to play a big part in getting you to where you want to be and opportunities coming your way, guys. I do have the Six of Swords. Beautiful card. Represents moving from stormier times to calmer ones in your life. Uh, this is also part of your attitude and mindset as well in changing the way that you think about yourself and the way that you view the world. I do have the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords uh, can represent indecision, trouble making a choice, trouble finding clarity. And this might be in your clear the mind. You got shit that's muddling up your mind and it might be negative things that you're telling yourself, uh, fears, doubts, insecurities, things that are holding you back and it's time to be able to let go of that. I also have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups represents that emotional indifference, emotional withdrawal, drawing with, withdrawing into yourself and sort of closing the world out. Well, that would definitely be the opposite of this Go Wild card, which is all about uh, letting it out there, being who you are and not holding back. I do have the Wheel of Fortune card. So your fortune's changing for the better. And this is tied to Go Wild. These two cards are interconnected. This is coming with your change of attitude. Uh, this is going to bring some sort of an opportunity or an event uh, your way that's going to help you in working towards your goal. I do have the Three of Swords. This is where the Two of Swords came from. So the Three of Swords can represent heartbreak. It can represent separation. It, it represents a disappointing or heartbreaking event. Uh, that is what's caused you to hold back uh, so far. This is what's caused your indecision, your Two of Swords, that, that lack of clarity, that needing to clear your mind, that needing to clear uh, those doubts, those fears, those insecurities. This is where they came from. And the Four of Cups. This is where the Four of Cups have, has come from too. I have the Nine of Cups, beautiful card. Uh, cups is all about emotion. So having the Nine of Cups uh, represents this happiness, this celebration, this abundance. It's like a wish fulfillment card. Your wish is coming true. Uh, and this is also tying into the Wheel of Fortune card. It's not going to happen uh, today. It's not going to happen tomorrow. But this is all part of your path to achieving your goals. This is a, all of this work 
and believing in yourself, truly believing in yourself and moving through the world like that is what's going to help you uh, to attain your wishes. This is going to help you to fulfill your own wishes, guys. I do have the judgment card and she says that too. She's all about karma, getting back what you put out into the world. And that ties into the see the bigger picture and seeing how everything is interconnected. And this change of attitude is going to change your life. It's going to change uh, the way things are around you. It's going to change the way opportunities come to you as well. I also have the Eight of Cups, so a bright new journey forward while leaving the past behind. This Four of Cups, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, this is what we need to leave behind. And this Clear Your Mind card is going to help with that as well. And the Tower card also represents what needs to be left behind. That's fear. That's that fear of something coming to an end, fear of something not working out, fear of heartbreak. And it's the leftover hurt from this event in the past and that's causing this fear of it happening again. But definitely that fear is holding you back from moving forward. It's causing these negative things that aren't allowing you to truly believe in yourself and embrace yourself. And moving through life, uh, I just, I keep getting a vision of a lion. They're just so full of pride and confidence. And this is how you need to move through life. This is what the cards are saying to me today. This is the message that you need to hear that's going to help you to move towards your goals. Alrighty guys, I hope that you found value in this read today. And thank you again so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care, Aries.